Jacob Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts. Even the Chinese train with the Sai. They call it the Cha. And I want you to practice a few skills with me right now. So hook the Cha or the Sai on your thumb right there. And I want you to flip it from a reverse position to a forward position and back. Flip, back, flip, back, flip, back, flip, and back. I want you to do them one each way and rotate them opposite of each other. Back, flip, back, flip, back, flip, back. Okay? I want you to practice this short sequence really quick. From here, I want you to step out and block your face, jab, turn and block, double block this way, hook high, boom, strike pulling this way, circle, and with the butt of the side, smack somebody down into a low stance, circle this direction, smack somebody down in a low stance, double smack to the head, double thrust to the body, flip and block out, and kill them with that skewer. Let's do it again from the back angle. From this position, I want you to step out to the right, block and thrust, turn to the left, double block, hook with the right, thrust and pull in, then circle to a tight stance, smack low, circle again, step forward, smack low, go to bow, double smack, double thrust, flip and block out with the right, skewer straight inside to them this way. Come up, bring it back into original position, and bow. Beginner sequence of the Sai, which when I was in Fujian province in China, the Shaolin Temple, a few years ago, they had a little bit of a weapons museum there, and they had old Sai, rusted and corroded, that they had found when they had dug up the ruins of the burned southern Shaolin Temple. So, we know it came from China, even though Japan has made it famous, get yourself a pair and practice this short sequence on your own.